This is Dabu7. If there's been one key event that I've warned about for years and years and years, it is a lights out situation. It's something I talk about often and for good reason. We have seen proof that this would be the one thing that could bring down the entire country, every business, the economy, the banking, everything under the sun, you name it. This coupled with cybersecurity attacks could wipe everything out. And what we're seeing now for the first time in some time is a report talking about this. This group is the EMP Task Force on Homeland and National Security. Now, the last EMP group that they had together put out a warning stating that North Korea and their satellites that go over our country could be EMPs. They dis disbanded them and took away the funding shortly after that. And then now here we have this group of the EMP Task Force on Homeland Security saying the same thing, saying that it's not North Korea, though, they're looking at. They're looking at China, although I'm here to tell you that North Korea would be the perfect patsy to pull this off for China. They are saying that they believe in this new report that through stolen technology, that China would strike first in an event of an EMP strike. They would not go for a tit-for-tat type of war. They are under a no first strike policy right now, but they say that they're not set up. Their defensive measures are not set up. They could not counter as quickly. They could not respond. That's why they say them striking first would be the move. And in my opinion, thinking how some top leadership would think, and they would not want their country to get nuked or hit, they would pull this off through North Korea. I just feel it. I've always felt it, and who knows, they could even hit maybe North Korea with a nuke or a mini-nuke afterwards for the history books. But they're trying to say a surprise attack and the lights going out is going to come from China. Whether it's pulled off through North Korea or not, I'm here to tell you, the two shining star satellites that North Korea have going over every country every day are still there, and they were warned to have EMPs on board of them before they dismantled the last group. So I wonder today, will this information go in an ear and out the other, or will someone actually start to implement a survival plan for a lights-out situation? Once again, you can never say someone didn't come along and tell you over and over again. It's been Dapu7. Catch me on DLive. Peace.